Hello my little rogues, I am Minion and this is my TF2 How to Kill Streak series where I show you how to get a kill streak with the best and worst weapons this game has to offer, because everything is a bad idea until it works. Today we will be covering the Righteous Bison. Now without further ado, let's get into it. We will start with the weapon's stats and how to acquire it in order to make sure we all have a foundational knowledge to work off of before we cover how to get a kill streak proper. <coughs> The Righteous Bison is a sci-fi pistol for the soldier that takes up a secondary weapon slot, meaning this thing is going to have to compete with the gunboats, your shotgun, and all the banners when you're deciding what weapons to bring out into the field in the first place. If you wish to acquire this item for yourself, you can trade for one, make the mistake of crafting it using a reclaimed metal and a battalion's backup, or acquire it through a random drop like I did. As for what this thing does, that's relatively simple. According to the game, it fires a sci-fi projectile. This projectile cannot be reflected, meaning you don't have to worry about a pyro's air blast like you would with your rocket launcher. Nor does this thing require ammo, meaning if you pair it with a cow mangler, you won't be able to pick up ammo packs whatsoever, which can be helpful if you accidentally find yourself stealing ammo from your engineers who are trying to build a nest during setup. The projectiles you fire with this thing also penetrate anything they hit that isn't part of the map, meaning you can shoot through your teammates, enemy team, and engineer buildings. And it only does 20% damage, or an 80% damage reduction, or only 4 damage per hit, to buildings. Given how your primary weapon is one of the best things in the game for destroying sentry nests, however, that last bit's kind of a nothing stat to be honest. However, those are just what's written down in-game. TF2 has a nasty habit of leaving out important details and item descriptions due to the spaghetti code of this game. The first major problem that isn't listed in-game is how slow the projectile that this thing fires is. Literally the slowest projectile in the entire game. Like, seriously, don't even bother shooting this thing at long distances, you won't be hitting anything. Hell, even at medium range, enemies will usually have enough time to move out of the way of this thing. The second issue not listed in-game is how your clip is smaller than the stock shotgun. Whilst the old reliable shotgun has 6 shots before needing to be reloaded, this thing only has 4. These issues, however, wouldn't be too big a deal if the bison did at least somewhat decent damage. However, it doesn't. To demonstrate, I will now show you some footage of me shooting some bots at point blank range just to show you how many shots it takes to kill a heavy at full health. Okay, so this thing is worse than the shotgun at point-blank range against stationary individual targets. So how do we actually use this thing? Well, that's actually quite simple. Go for the opposite of what I just described. Remember how I said this thing can penetrate targets? Well, that means if an enemy is running away in a straight line, this thing can hit them multiple times with a single shot. This also means, unlike the shotgun, this weapon can actually hit multiple players in one clean shot. And best of all, unlike your primary weapon, the rocket launcher, you can shoot through your teammates with this thing. Meaning if there's a bunch of people shooting in front of you in a choke point, such as the sewers in 2 fort or something, you can just spam this down a narrow hallway and get some easy damage or some cheeky kills. It also means that you can use your teammates as a meat shield whilst harassing foes like a discount flare pyro. This thing can easily cover your retreats through doorways as well, since the slow-moving projectile will usually deter players for a moment, since as a general rule of thumb, players will prefer to wait a moment rather than lose health. As for what primary to use with this thing, there's really no wrong answers here. The rocket jumper is great for those of you who are better at rocket jumping than me, since you'll be able to take all sorts of crazy flanks and get the enemy by surprise. The black box is great for those of you who are very serious about getting a kill streak and don't give a crap what the enemy team thinks of you, since the reduced clip size justifies you having your secondary out more often, while the health on hit of this weapon helps you maintain your health and consequently your kill streak. If sentry nests aren't an issue, consider the cow mangler. The charge up shot has some combo synergy with the righteous bison against groups of players. Both these two weapons have the additional synergy of not needing ammo whatsoever, so if the idea of hunting for ammo packs annoys you to no end, there you go. 
but honestly you can never go wrong with the stock rocket launcher. She is a reliable unit that has passed the test of time several times over. As for what melee to use with this weapon, really there's no particular synergy, so generally speaking you're going to want to pick some sort of utility. The most popular are the disciplinary action for those of you who want to get into the fight as quickly as possible, and the escape plan for those of you who want to get out the moment things go wrong. However, at the end of the day, while there are scenarios that the bison can excel at, these scenarios are stuff like being in a narrow corridor with a large number of enemies in front of you, with your own teammates being a nice meat shield. And while those things do happen, it's a tad unreliable. And the whole thing just reminds me of something my grandmother would used to say. Fill one hand with wish and the other with shit. See which one gets filled up first. <sighs> All in all, I give the Bison a something different out of 10. If you want to try something different from the standard soldier meta, or just want to do something different from your normal loadout, this can be a silly fun alternative. Just don't expect to be as effective as you would be with most other secondaries. That will be all for now. Like the video if you did, comment what weapons you want to see me cover in the future, subscribe if you don't want to miss the next one, I've been an Ian, and this has been my TF2 How to Kill Streak Guide to the Righteous Bison. And stay tuned, the Holy Mackerel is up next. Also, as a quick aside here, Valve, do something about the bots. Please. While recording for this video, I got vote kicked from the server by a bot calling me the N-word after I reported him for cheating. This kind of crap should not be happening, period, under any circumstances. There is no reason I can conceive of that this kind of crap should still be a thing whatsoever after literal years. Seriously, do anything. I just want to play my favorite game in peace. Is that so much to ask? Apparently.